Please join me this morning in praying for all those who are sick and homebound, especially those on our parish prayer lists. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance. And so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. The entrance antiphon. Rejoice, O heavens, and exalt, O earth, for our Lord will come to show his mercy to his poor. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today's Holy Eucharist is offered for the soul of Deacon Baba Esposito and for the soul of Henry Jagielski. On the beginning, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased uh, to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Je Judah or the mace from between his legs while tribute is brought to him and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice, justice shall, shall flourish, flourish in, in his time, time and, and fullness, fullness of peace, peace forever. forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice, justice shall flourish in his time, time and, and the fullness, fullness of, of peace, peace forever. forever. 
Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice, Justice shall, shall flourish, flourish in his time and, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Wisdom of our God Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, to you Lord. Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nashem, Nashem the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab, Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth, Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king, David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abiha, Abiha the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah, the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jehon Jehonian and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jehoniah became the father of Shatil. Shatil, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abiud. Abiud, the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Achim. Achim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mat Mathen. Mathen, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From Babylonian exile to Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So my brothers and sisters, a lot of names today in the gospel, in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. And uh, 
you know, a um, few years back, I was doing something like the meditation about every this name. And, you know, uh, try to do this uh, one day, and you will be so surprised that a lot of these people, they were so huge sinners. <laughs> and, you know, and this is good to realize that, that not everyone in the genealogy of Jesus Christ was so holy. But they changed their lives when truly they start listening to God. And you know, maybe during this Advent season, this gospel is um, um, like the two, uh, will be, has something like the two meaning uh, for us. First, we have experience from our past. I don't think so that uh, everyone here was always during the whole life so holy. This is also my experience. Okay, and we, we know about our sinful nature. We know about our mistakes. We know about, uh, about our uncorrections. Okay, and maybe everything is changing still and uh, because we truly met Jesus Christ in our lives and we have experienced how he is changing a lot of things in our lives. But you know, First, if I will be truly realize that, I have to be first so grateful that past is past, I cannot change my past, but I have to be grateful for my past because of my past, I am who I am today. And second, maybe this is a good lesson for us today, that if right now I have people around me who are doing the same mistakes which I did in my past, I cannot judge them. I have to help them. I have to be for them like Jesus Christ. Because very often, people after conversion, when they uh, change their whole uh, lives, they have something like the tendency that right now I will be destroy everyone who did something what I did when I was a sinner. But this is not working like that. In this moment, it's difficult to find the image of Jesus Christ. This is not moment how we can do this in our Christian's life. And second, during this Advent season, this is experience from the last night and my whole week, this, uh, this week, uh, that a lot of people cannot imagine celebrating the Christmas season without sacrament of the reconciliation. And this is not just that I am coming to Jesus and I am, you know, saying everything, uh, what was happened and what is happened, and I am waiting for his mercy and for his reconciliation, for his absolution, but also maybe we have to look around, not just here in St. Mark's, but look around at our neighbors, families, and ask, for the reconciliation. Because this is the moment how we can prove that Jesus will be alive again in my heart next Friday during the Christmas and he will be alive in every human being around me. So it's good that I am not perfect, that I am not holy one day. Like these people from the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Because still, I know that I am so weak, and every day I need more and more and more Jesus. Because this is the way that one day, when it will be in Jesus' time, I will be truly holy. Amen. Calling to mind the needs of our com community and our world, let us join our prayers and lift them to, to the Lord. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit give her strength in her efforts to spread the good news of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. 
for world leaders. May the peace of Christ always inform their policy making. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering in mind or body, may God's healing and mercy provide relief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the priests that came here to St. Mark's last night for their reconciliation service, we pray for their vocations and we pray for an increase in vocations throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For educators in this faith community, may the joy, wisdom, and creativity of the Holy Spirit infuse their teaching, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they be warmly welcomed into the Lord's presence by the communion of saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers and intentions that we placed in our prayer book, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, hear our petitions and look upon them with your love through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for true goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for true goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that, uh, and grant that through these mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is uh, by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness.
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and internal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us, Lord, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Mark, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, 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 peace.
Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Behold, the desired of all the nations will come, and the house of the Lord will be filled with glory. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by this divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make us your servant of this heart. Teach us the way we must go and heal our how we to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance teach us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. The Divine Mercy Chaplet. We begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O, o blood and, and water, water which, which gushed, gushed forth, forth from, from the heart, heart of Jesus, Jesus as, as the a font, font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed gush forth, forth from the heart of Jesus, as, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy, holy God, God, holy mighty one, one holy immortal one, one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, one have mercy on us and on the, on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent 
but with, with great confidence, confidence submit, submit ourselves, ourselves to your holy will, will which is love and mercy itself. itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I trust, I trust in, you. in you. Jesus, I trust, I trust in, you. in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray, pray for, for us. us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you so much. Blessed day for everyone and see you tomorrow. Thank you, Father. <laughs>